Our last case study is showcasing the impact research pillar, which pairs fellows with organizations to investigate critical research questions at the intersection of engineering, sustainability, and global development. Our partner this summer was Habitat for Humanity's Terra Bolivar Center for Innovation in Shelter. The outcome of our collaboration laid the foundation, no pun intended, for further work, and we are now continuing the project through our winter cohort. I would like to introduce Juan Pablo Vargas, Senior Technical Advisor to the Terra Bolivar Center for Innovation in Shelter, Bienvenido, Pablo. Gracias, Iana. Good day to everyone. It's a real pleasure for Habitat for Humanity to be part of Impact Engineer 2021 celebration. Currently, 1.6 billion people lack adequate housing in the world. By 2030, this number is estimated to grow to 3 billion. 70% of this need will be in the global south. At the same time, the construction industry uses huge amounts of materials and resources that are extracted from the environment and is one of the largest drivers of CO2 emissions globally. Habitat for Humanity's vision is a world where everyone has a decent place to live. For us to accomplish this vision, it's critical to find new approaches, new technologies, and new business models that can disrupt the industry and contribute to both, solving the housing challenge while at the same time protecting the environment. This is why we found a natural link with Engineering for Change and decided to partner with them to analyze sustainable housing innovations that enable circular economies in low-income communities, particularly in Mexico and Kenya. Thanks to this research, Habitat is able to advance toward the development of a sustainability strategy, which will help us to adapt our programs and tactics to better include sustainability principles in our interventions. In the end, this will contribute to better affordable housings for the people and for the planet. Now, wanting to extend this work to gain insights in additional geographies, we have continued to partner with E4C and are sponsoring two additional fellows to work with us during the current winter cohort in India and the Philippines. To speak to some of the research processes and his experience during the fellowship, I would like to give you the chance to hear from E4C fellow who worked with us during this impact research, Martin. Martin, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Juan Pablo, and hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Martin Elpino. I'm from Argentina. I have an undergrad in industrial engineering, and I have recently finished a European Joint Master in Sustainable Development. I was an E4C fellow in 2021, and I'm currently working at McKinsey.org, that is a McKinsey and company initiative to tackle the most complex environmental and social challenges. During the impact research project with Capital for Humanity, we investigate the major trends and opportunities of circularity in affordable housing in Mexico. For this, we base our research in the Ellen MacArthur Foundation framework for a transition to a circular economy and apply, apply this framework to the affordable housing sector in Mexico. We complement this methodology by interviewing over 15 experts of both circular economy and affordable housing that gave us a systemic approach of the solutions and best local and international practices. During this project, I had the opportunity to work in a multicultural environment with fellows from 22 countries and partners from four different regions. I could also improve my project management skills with a holistic view of the sustainable development goals. And finally, I had the opportunity to connect with two high impact and global, global organizations such as Habitat for Humanity and Engineering for Change. It was a great opportunity. If you are an early career engineer considering the fellowship, my advice is to apply for joining this family where you will learn to combine both technical knowledge and management consulting, consulting skills for a better future. Thank you everyone and I'm happy to keep in touch. Enjoy the event.